would like to thank uh, uh, Prof Associate Professor T.S. Dr. Samso for inviting me to share my experience uh, in uh, getting and doing the MCMC research grant. Lah. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm very uh, delighted today to uh, share what uh, you can do uh, if you also plan to do, uh, I mean, to apply for the next uh, uh, grant, which is, I think, of will be open soon uh, in March, if, uh, normally in March. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, basically, uh, I got this uh, research grant um, from Cycle 1, uh, 2023, lah, yeah? and it just completed uh, last uh, December, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> So I don't have to uh, worry or uh, think about this uh, grant anymore. Okay. So that's why uh, uh, I am today to share this with you. Lah. Not the funding, but uh, not the funding of the uh, research, but how to get the funding or to get the grant of the uh, MCMC. Lah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, basically, this is my information. Uh, I'm from uh, Faculty of Science and Technology, uh, New Science Science Islam Malaysia. So this is my email if you need uh, or you need to ask me after the uh, uh, talk later on uh, or get uh, some uh, advice ke? or also you can scan for LinkedIn page uh, to get connected. Okay. All right. Um, just a little bit of uh, my short biography. I think um, Dr. Samsu, uh, yes, Dr. Samsu already uh, you know, tell us, uh, tell everybody about my uh, biography just now. So I think I don't need to uh, face again uh, the uh, biography of me lah. Basically, basically nothing uh, really wow sangat. Uh, just a little bit of uh, uh, contribution here and there lah. Eh? Okay, um, for today's presentation, um, I try to make a very informal or uh, as uh, uh, simple as possible uh, so that uh, we, we, you get what I want to uh, uh, explain or what is actually uh, the topic for today. Lah. So uh, what you will get, eh? normally kita kata what you will learn kan dalam class. So I don't want to use uh, learn because uh, it's not really uh, teaching or lecture, just a sharing session. Uh, basically, I will uh, explain um, what is actually MCMC research uh, grant or what are their priorities in uh, MCMC research uh, research and uh, the technique or the tips uh, how to write uh, MCMC research grant and uh, how to apply lah, for the grant application. Yeah? Um, if you have any question uh, in between, you can just... Uh, I mean, stop me. Okay, I will be happy to answer lah. Eh? Okay, uh, first of all, um, what is actually uh, MCMC Research Grant? Okay, actually MCMC Research Grant, uh, they call it DSRG. Yeah? DSRG stands for uh, Digital Society Research Grant. Okay, so uh, it is mainly... Um, uh, a society, digital society, I'm mean, focus on the digital society uh, base. Yeah? And uh, this research is basically uh, evidence-based research, not fundamental, not um, prototype or whatsoever lah, like FRGS, PRGS to talk. It's evidence-based, basically um, it looks for uh, like survey, um, uh, focus group, uh, that kind of thing. Either it's qualitative or quantitative or it can be a uh, mixed uh, research lah. Eh? So you don't need to uh, find any a new uh, new new theory ke apa macam uh, fundamental tu. Okay, so because uh, it is more to look at the um, uh, the surface or the exploratory, exploratory uh, research, uh, something like that lah. Eh? And uh, the focus of the SRG is more on the communication infrastructure 
like 5G uh, currently ni kan uh, 5G research and also service deployment uh, meaning that the kind of service that is offered by MCMC or for the digital uh, for digital society lah and uh, the research is uh, the other specific department in MCMC so each department will propose uh, one research so the research topic tu will be focusing on the uh, their department lah ada department 5G ke uh, ada department digital signature department uh, postal untuk postage uh, services and so on I think ada about nine or ten department in uh, MCMC lah eh? So uh, this research basically to help uh, to assist them to develop the policy or programs or uh, intervention lah to promote the inclusion and the uh, participation uh, of the society um, so that to make sure that uh, our nation have a fully digital uh, connected lah or, and also informed society. So that's why the punya research tu dia uh, kalau kita buat survey kan memang uh, fokus on the society lah yeah? uh, Specific society uh, topic based on the topic tu lah yeah? Okay um, so to get this research grant is uh, quite tough Okay as you can see uh, there are more proposal coming in from uh, different university It's not only IPTA, IPTA is also allowed to uh, apply this grant and each grant, uh, each research uh, uh, been listed for the call for proposal too, uh, only one will be assigned uh, to each grant too. So, kalau ada sembilan grant, so sembilan uh, recipient sajalah yang dia bagi. So, Alhamdulillah, we are lucky to get one of them lah. So, if you can see here, uh, we are one out of nine winners yeah, from 125 proposal from around the world lah. Uh, around the sorry <laughs> around uh, uh, university in Malaysia lah eh? so basically uh, this picture here shows that uh, uh, they call us for uh, uh, to receive the grant uh, in the hotel lah, somewhere in KL and also uh, other research symposium during that day lah beside uh, um, um, they give us the uh, grant uh, award lah eh? okay so um, the SRG MCMC grant um, basically launched, uh, firstly launched in July 2020. That is the first uh, uh, grant lah, uh, called during uh, COVID, COVID, if I'm not mistaken, because this is the, during the first time ni, I tried to apply, but uh, um, because waktu tu tak, not much uh, exposure on this uh, grant yet. So I didn't get the grant lah, because uh, the grant also very limited. Okay, so uh, I tried uh, last year, Alhamdulillah, um, I managed to get the grant lah. Eh? And uh, the grant actually open uh, two times per year. Okay, uh, the first cycle uh, normally open in March. They open one month saja. Uh, first March until 31st March, uh, basically, they open the uh, grant. Uh, so, end of the... Uh, February, we normally receive the email lah, uh, for MCMC that they will open the grant soon. Eh? The second um, uh, cycle will be in August. Okay, uh, it start from 1st August and uh, until 31st August lah. Uh, so it's about one month juga. Okay, um, uh, the maximum grant you can uh, request is uh, only 10,000 per grant. Yeah, and the duration for the grant is up to six months. There are some uh, research uh, they need only three months uh, but they will state it there lah uh, they require only three months but normally a normal uh, grant is uh, six months lah eh? and uh, before uh, you will award uh, this grant you will call uh, for uh, pitching okay that is a uh, shortlisted lah let's say from 125 to you they choose um, uh, 50 or 20 uh, uh, from each of the um, uh, topic or grant too. so you have to pitch uh, your uh, proposal yeah <clears throat> okay 
So what are their focus area in uh, DSRG, MCMC grant ni? Eh? There are two uh, focus. Okay, one is uh, DCC or Digital Citizenship and Cyber Wellness. And, and another one is Digital uh, Inclusion or DI. Yeah. So for DCC, uh, they are looking at the competency and literacies, um, the risk and potential harm for certain uh, services or uh, technology, uh, the user right and protection, basically this involves cyber law, uh, consumer experience and protection uh, for the services, lah. Uh, awareness and self-regulation or the adoption or intervention uh, program evaluation, policy and regulatory implication, also validation and improvement and the uh, communication strategies. For digital inclusion, um, they're looking at the uh, empowering the productive use of services, okay, uh, how the uh, accessibility to the health and the assisted living services. Also, there is an adoption uh, research, uh, the intervention, program evaluation, and also the policy and regulatory implication. Lah, yeah? So each of these research, they, they have their own uh, research topic. Lah, yeah? For example, okay, this is uh, what we got from the uh, cycle one uh, last year. Okay, cycle one to twenty, yeah. And just to uh, for you to note that uh, MCMC research is a guided research. What does the guided research mean? Meaning that they are this research is a predetermined uh, research, which research objective has been given. The aim is already been given, and um, you just need to recommend how to do it lah uh, uh, to the committee later on, yeah. So, uh, if you uh, have read before the core proposal for uh, MCMC, you can see the research objective is given. For example, uh, this is C1. Uh, this is the title is to uh, challenges and opportunities of the environmental, social and governance adoption among MCMC license. So, they given you um, research objective and the aims. Okay, and who are the sponsor? Okay, the sponsor is the department that is uh, 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 actually propose this research lah. For example, this is uh, under planning department. Okay, and um, um, you can see also the objective is quite uh, a lot <laughs> uh, for six months lah. But uh, yeah, we have to be very. Uh, it's very packed uh, research lah, uh, for six months to complete all the objectives. Eh? Okay, this is an uh, example for digital inclusion. Okay, at the adoption, okay, uh, looking at the use and motivation of the uh, uh, air TV, okay, free to air channel TV, okay, and uh, also. Uh, uh, a lot lah, okay. Um, for example, there are also research uh, on the 6G and Jendela, okay, Jendela program that's been uh, um, uh, launched uh, under uh, digital society, okay. So they want to see the impact of this Jendela, okay. <clears throat> also uh, uh, 5G, Okay, this number 12 here, this is what I got last uh, uh, last research lah. A study on Malaysian digital signature, uh, market demand and feasibility of uh, certification authority interoperability. So basically looking at the uh, market demand of the uh, digital signature and uh, how the uh, interoperability uh, possible for Malaysia lah. And all this research basically after we done, uh, they will, uh, I mean, they will look at it and see whether they can implement or not, something like that, okay? Or maybe to see the impact at what has been done, for, exa for example, jendela. So they want to see how this jendela uh, impact the society lah, yeah? <clears throat> okay, uh, the, uh, yeah. Okay, I will I will tell you about the tips uh, choosing the title later on. Okay, so we move on to what you will get from the SRG first. Okay, 
Okay, uh, the SRG, okay, um, apart from the 10,000 you receive, you can also uh, get uh, extra funding if it's not enough. But normally it's enough lah, uh, to uh, spend 10,000 lah. Because I see from my previous, uh, uh, I mean, my colleague also before this got this grant and they are not fully utilised the 10,000 up to seven, 8,000 only. Like myself, I managed to uh, utilise all lah, uh, all the 10,000 uh, uh, given to, yeah. But let's say uh, the amount is not enough, you can also uh, become this research as a matching grant research with uh, another uh, research lah. Eh? And um, to apply, uh, you can only apply one as a PI and also uh, another one as a co-researcher, meaning that uh, there are two research uh, proposal you can submit, one as a PI and another one is a co-researcher yeah but normally uh, the committee will not be given uh, both uh, the trend is that they uh, will choose one UST one uh, PI but you can try so you can try more so that you, you have a more chances lah, uh, for the UST uh, to get at least one grant yeah Okay, after you receive the grant, you have uh, also a chance to be an invited speaker at the MCMC events and also uh, be invited to their uh, uh, seminars and uh, symposium, uh, um, whether online or face to face. Yeah? And the uh, funding or the publication for uh, research will be uh, published in Media Matters. Uh, this is Media Matters is a, a books. Uh, it's been published like a book chapter uh, by MCMC. So it's a web-based uh, policy report and also as a published book. Okay. Okay. Beside that, okay, uh, you can also attend uh, the uh, symposium and the uh, event today. Okay, so this is basically some uh, um, idea lah what we will get uh, from this research. Okay, actually uh, for the 10,000, we see like this not really much, okay? but actually the impact from this research is uh, big. Okay, because MCMC will go, uh, I mean, publish our funding uh, throughout the, I mean, the to all the stakeholders lah so um we have more uh, visibility or impact towards our career and also towards uh, the university itself lah eh? okay so uh the process of the srg proposal um the, the srg proposal is not like uh frgs uh how we write the proposal lah, eh? before this uh we apply through a system for the SRG. They are a, a system for uh, the SRG. But uh, last year, uh, I managed to apply to system. Okay, but uh, last year, their system has been hacked and all the data uh, been um, published in the, uh, to the third party. Lah. So they uh, shut down uh, straight away the website and they no longer accept any uh, application to the system lah. So I'm not sure whether this year they open up again or still using the um, uh, manual. So uh, you have to check later on uh, if they open the proposal, a call for pro proposal lah. If not, um, you can download their website. I mean, you can download the form from their website. Okay. And there are about 11 sections to complete. Uh, the uh, research grant, uh, research proposal. Okay, so basically you need to have the abstract, uh, introduction and background, uh, problem statement, uh, aims and objective of the research, uh, literature review and bibliography, uh, the conceptual theory or theoretical framework. Uh, this is a important part lah. Uh, the conceptual and theoretical framework ni because you are doing the uh, evidence based or survey or qualitative based so basically you uh you need the conceptual framework first or theoretical framework before uh you can start the research okay uh, the research methodology uh what are the uh, challenges uh related 
to uh, the research, the implication of the research on the regulation of policy. And uh, I think the uh, last is the budget. Okay, budget and gun chart. Yeah, budget and the uh, gun chart. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the budget also uh, not like the KPT uh, system would vote, okay? Um, but uh, some vote like vote 290, uh, you can uh, uh, you can put for the uh, allowance or uh, for enumerator, okay? And you can also ask for travel and transportation because if you do the uh, survey, then you have to go out and uh, look for the uh, 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 samples. Lah. So uh, this one you can ask for it. The rental, uh, rental expenses, or uh, this one also fall under if you want to uh, rent the, uh, to buy a bill. Okay, so also uh, under this uh, this uh, category lah you can you can ask for uh, be, uh, telephone bills but you nak make a call kan ataupun you make an interview call ke so you can put it here research materials uh, you can buy software you can um, uh, you, you nak langgan chat GPT for two months pun boleh okay or any other uh, AI uh, related uh, tools pun boleh and uh, university management fee, if any, uh, kalau UMS ada charge for you uh, man university management fee, so you put here, like you seem, uh, we have 2.5%, uh, if you're not mistaken. So uh, put uh, here as well. Special services, um, this one, if you want to, uh, to uh, ask for proofreader to proofread your uh, report, okay? So you can put it here or any incentive for data collection like uh, sometimes uh, it's hard for you to get the uh, uh, feedback eh, from the survey. So you need to give them some token of appreciation. Okay, so you can ask also uh, uh, for the some tokens uh, here. Lah, yeah. uh, proofread and editorial review, sorry, uh, proofread is uh, under uh, item 7. And they will give you a conference and presentation uh, uh, money and also publication. So these two basically around 2000 uh, for you to go for the conference and also their uh, fee. Lah, yeah. Okay, the tips and tricks in the proposal stage. Okay. Um, basically, okay, on the first one I applied, I didn't get through because I don't know <laughs> exactly what this is uh, uh, research about. So I just gamble and submit. Lah. And the second one, I follow the tips and tricks that is uh, being shared by uh, my colleagues as well who got it earlier on. Uh, and Alhamdulillah, um, I managed to get lah, following his uh, tips and tricks. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> Uh, first, um, before the deadline, I mean, after they, they open the um, uh, proposal, a call for proposal, um, they will do the briefing. Okay, they will call for ready to uh, uh, to attend the briefing. So please attend this briefing. So there are a lot of uh, information will be given by them. <clears throat> And then the deadline, apa semua lah, uh, what is the process flow and everything, uh, they will uh, uh, they will uh, mention uh, or inform you during the briefing session. <coughs> Apart from <coughs> attending the briefing, um, give them a courtesy call, okay? Uh, because this is to show that you are who you are lah because if you notice that there are a lot of application especially the uh, the favorite topic lah uh, application yang everybody can masuk although not non IT pun boleh apply so uh, the um, I mean you have a very 
uh, steep chance lah juga uh, because uh, a lot of uh, application comes in kan. So by giving them a call, they will notice you lah. Uh, you are from uh, you simple UMS ke and you are doing you would like to do this research and ask more what they need to get more or clear um, clear information from their department lah. Because uh, in the call for proposal later on, they I'll give you the uh, contact number who to call for each of the uh, uh, research, research uh, grant too. Yeah? So um, uh, make them a call, uh, just say hi <laughs> or just to get to know them and let them know who you are lah so that when they open your application to uh, oh they will uh, remember you lah or oh, this uh, this uh, applicant applicant has called me before you know asking and then maybe your your proposal will be picked for at least uh, go for the pitching yeah <clears throat> so uh, identify the perspective demanded by MCAC uh, and add the opposite perspective as a backup suggest uh, suggestion lah. <clears throat> uh, meaning that <clears throat> Uh, you can also um, propose a new idea to them lah, um, uh, apart from what being proposed tadi. Yeah? Contoh, sometimes they give you a very broad idea and you can focus on tell it to your specific area. For example, uh, macam last year ada topic about agriculture tau. So agriculture ni is big a uh, lot of agriculture so you can choose which agriculture you want to po to focus palm oil ke padi ke or anything that is uh, easy or you're familiar with lah so that's what it's mean here <clears throat> uh, add an executive summary and flow chart of the study okay add also policy document by mcmc as part of the reference okay they look love to look at the i mean we tell them uh, tell the research with a policy because this is about policy uh, regulate regulation and also um in your write-up um we need to get uh, i mean find the policy that is relevant to your research proposal too yeah? and uh need to add the updated or most current uh, or trendy theoretical and conceptual framework lah for your uh, research. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, also in the methodology, okay, um, basically if you do the qualitative or quantitative for the survey, right, you basically have to uh, come up with um, uh, survey question or instrument straight away. Okay. And um, um, if you can come up with a um, QR code, maksudnya you dah publish somewhere, uh, you dah come up with uh, the, the instrument tu. So just put it in your proposal, meaning that you are ready uh, to to kickstart the research already once you get. Okay, because, um, because six months is not enough. So they expected, expect you um, everything is been uh, done prior the uh, the research start lah so kalau ada qr code semua um, just uh, supply them uh, do uh, provide them more uh, current technology lah macam provide qr code apa lagi sekarang yang kita boleh buat tu so we can show them uh, we are in par with the technology as well lah eh? bukan just hantar um, macam soalan dalam proposal tu sahaja. So uh, provide them more more info lah uh, basically. Yeah? If you plan to do a focus group discussion, so add the correct checklist uh, also in your reference and you have to uh, list out the target correspondent uh, straight away. <clears throat> okay, let's say who you want to be, uh, become your correspondent. Like myself, I'm doing uh, certification uh, authority. So I have to list out all the uh, certification authority in Malaysia, which is only four. So who are your target? Uh, the specific uh, manager, uh, the technical person, and uh, or probably the uh, the user as well. Huh? 
And um, okay, uh, chat GPT, uh, I think it's norm right now. So they are also basically using a chat GPT for the, I mean, to check or to give you a uh, uh, in uh, to give you ideas lah MC MC ni So you can use a chat GPT Okay uh, But of course lah Chat GPT not uh, everything you can get it uh, 100% kan So you have to also do some checking Whether the information given by chat GPT tu betul ke tak But uh, there's no harm using a chat GPT So um, uh, use it uh, while you can lah uh, uh, Grab this uh, grasp this uh, AI technology as much lah eh. um, Also a word over promising or under promising expected outcome Okay, basically they were given already what they need Okay, so uh, So you just follow Okay, don't give extra lah Because six months basically uh, uh, Very tight lah for the objective given to you uh, To complete uh, the research too Okay, this is example of conceptual or theoretical framework lah. Uh, uh, there are two here. Okay, uh, I show you uh, the first one here is uh, my theoretical framework uh, when I submit the proposal before. So basically, this uh, theoretical framework following the Utah uh, theory to look at the uh, adoption of the uh, digital signature. Uh, and how this registration effect the um, the interoperability effect the uh, the society lah later on. Eh? And this one is from my uh, previous colleague who uh, I think managed to get the three five uh, G five uh, G research. Okay, so um, you have to plan your uh, conceptual framework lah. Get it from a previous one and then. Uh, um, and make it uh, uh, sesuaikan lah dengan your your research tadi. Yeah. So methodology, um, um, the methodology should follow the objective given. Okay, like this is example from my uh, my previous uh, uh, research. So are the five five objective. Okay, and the five objective tu. Uh, I have to do one part, have to do the uh, interview, okay? And another one is uh, for uh, literature review, SLR. I do a SLR, uh, SLR method lah, okay? So that's why I divided into phase one and phase two here, okay? But if you only have uh, one uh, method like quality or quantity, meaning that one uh, uh, method, one survey or one uh, focus group then you only need just phase one lah eh? but you need to do list out all the process uh, what you need to do and uh, you have to explain uh, uh, everything here like respondent selection who are your respondent um, what kind of uh, interview the instrument uh, you use and uh, and all lah yeah and also this second part here is the uh, SLR okay so the expected output just a publication and the report saja no need to produce uh, some kind of uh, uh, new theory ke apa tu tak ada yeah <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> this is an example of the interview instrument uh, given uh, for my uh, previous research. So all this here, uh, you can transform this into uh, Google, uh, apa tu? Uh, Google form lah, and then provide them with the QR code and everything. So it is more uh, nampak lebih canggih sikit lah, kan? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Uh, before this, I said uh, the tips for you how to choose the um, the right the right uh, research grant uh, research yeah research uh, grant which one you pat patut pilih lah eh okay kalau tengok tadi ada like sembilan uh, research grant tu kan um, basically um, uh, they are not just IT uh, related semua. Uh, some uh, research 
it can be open to uh, non science uh, uh, non science lah so uh, for you to get more uh, i mean to have a ch high chance uh, you choose uh, that is not a popular one or meaning that uh, the one that uh, non science susah nak buat and we focus more on the uh, more technical like 5G um uh, uh, saya pilih digital signature tu memang mostly or or non science susah nak buat so the uh, this kind of uh, research uh, we only compete between IT punya uh, punya applicants lah but uh, macam agriculture health health uh, something about health services tadi uh, there are a lot because uh, non science also can um, apply for that lah yeah so uh, choose uh, basically kalau uh, macam last year there are, there are some topic that is specifically focus on um, east malaysia macam sabah sarawak so you can uh, grab that one because basically they looking at uh, east malaysia side so they will look at uh university over there lah easier for them and they may, may be more close to the society uh in that area rather than you choose you seem to then so i might not know a lot about um some society in sabah or sarawak too so they will i mean you you have a high chance to to get that uh, grant lah eh? and that is another tip for you okay all right <clears throat> Next is, uh, okay, this is uh, the grants guideline and portal. You can um, um, I mean, click on. Uh, this is also all available the website there. And this is the uh, contact person of the, uh, the SRG uh, personnel. Lah. Okay. <clears throat> Normally, I will um, keep in touch with Mr. Hidayat Fahmi here. Lah. So, if you want to give a call later on, okay, you can call, call him. <clears throat> And also, uh, this is the link for policies. Okay, there are a lot of other links. So I just uh, list uh, only uh, that is relevant to IT here. Yeah? But there is a list for postal, for um, um, consumer services, semua ada. So you have to uh, make uh, efforts to uh, read their policies. Lah, eh? Okay, uh, just to share um, the the SRG MCMC grant recipient from USIM. Basically, uh, USIM has managed uh, to receive three research grant already. One uh, is in 2020, uh, titled uh, Understanding Talent, Competency and Literacy Gap, uh, related to capacity building across 5G vertical areas. So this is about 5G uh, uh, talent competency. Second one is awareness, perception, acceptance and adoption of Malaysian National Digital ID uh, initiative from service provider perspective. If you notice that this from this research, uh, now they launched their National Digital ID. So uh, they um, basically this is also help them lah, to see how people aware about this National Digital ID or not. Lah, eh? And and from this also, uh, they give awareness as well to the society. Um, and this is what I get last uh, cycle. Okay, a study on Malaysian digital digital signature market demand and feasibility of uh, certification author authority interoperability. So they are actually looking at how to interoperable between the CAs in Malaysia and this will be soon become uh, their uh, dasar lah or policy uh, so that all these four CAs in Malaysia what we have in Malaysia will be will be interactable between each other not right now they are uh, individual base okay I think that's all from my sharing so uh, thank you uh, everybody for listening Hopefully, uh, my, I mean, my sharing, um, you know, uh, I mean, you get something from my sharing enough to apply for the next grant. Okay. Uh, is there any question? Okay. Thank you very much, Associate uh, Professor Dr. Asmi Aslizan. I think very, very fantastic explanation. Also, oh, yeah. some hint, right? <laughs> so, now, I think we open the flow. Uh, is there any Q&A? Any question? 
you may unmute yourself or you may post to the chat lah. Okay, I think we can open few question lah. Uh, okay, no problem. So okay lah, let's start with me first lah, Prab. Eh. Ah, so okay. actually for this grant, what is the main, I mean, dia punya KPI tu? Apa yang perlu kita capai? Semasa let's say kita dapat grant untuk 6 bulan, then basically apa dia punya KPI yang kita wajib capai lah? Contohnya penerbitan ke macam mana dia punya KPI yang wajib kita capai? KPI wajib dia hanyalah report saja. The report, oh. <laughs> that's all. Okay, the report on um, uh, the objective yang dia bagi tu achieve or not. Uh, so, uh, the, the KPI tu hanya report saja. So, tak ada uh, student ke, tak ada new theory ke or uh, system ke kita nak kena dia, tak ada. So, they just need a report on the uh, finding of the research tu saja. That's why I said dia, dia tak adalah susah sangat tapi dia very busy lah sebab 6 month je kan. Uh. Okay, okay. And the publication tu just an additional lah sebab dia ada dia ada bagi grant uh, duit untuk um, untuk uh, publish paper, I mean publish from uh, this research kan. Tapi dia dia bukanlah KPI. Dia hanya, dia kata dia bagi uh, duit tu dia macam duit tu you dapat sebagai uh, apa tu hadiah uh, maksudnya you, you dapat hadiah tu so uh, kalau you tak tak nak uh, publish pun tak apa tapi kita as a uh, lecturer kan you dah dapat the duit then why not you use lah that money tu kan uh, so uh, basically uh, kita dah dapatlah satu uh, paper or dua paper daripada sini macam saya saya dapat dua paper daripada sini lah one tu yang saya hantar dekat uh, ya Hai, itu hari tu AMICT tu and then the one saya okay, uh, okay. buat uh, jurnal lah. Uh. Oh. So yang duit tu on top of 10,000 tu lah. Maksudnya 10,000 lah. Yeah. Duit tu lah. Ya. Yeah. Duit tu lah. So mesti kira dalam 2,000 for the publication lah. Okay. So banyak dia tak lah. uh, banyak jugalah. So that's why <laughs> apa tu uh, um, kalau tak guna tu rugilah kan walaupun dia bukan KPI. Ha, KPI dia macam just a report uh, dia nak at the end of the day tu dia nak you recommend apa nak buat. Ha, macam tu. Uh, okay, Dalam okay, okay, okay. Basically kalau you look at the uh, the objective tu last kali ataupun dalam report punya uh, format tu last kali dia akan buat recommendation. So from the survey yang kita buat or from the study yang kita buat tu uh, apa yang you recommend for the for MCMC ke for the services ke untuk untuk dia buat lah untuk uh, achieve the objective uh, tadi lah. Eh? Okay, okay. Ada ya ada memang plan ramai ke yang plan nak ni nak apa nak apply? Nah, tu lah kita jangka lah kita ialah kita akan identify staff so memang ha. kita akan minta jalan submit lah. Okay, my um, my tip lagi satu, let's say kalau ada general um, sebab saya tak tahu what's coming out nanti kan sebab belum keluar lagi, kalau dah keluar bolehlah saya tengok apa yang you boleh buat kan. Kalau ada yang general punya, um, try nanti bila you buat proposal, terus specify macam you nak buat dekat Sabah Sarawak macam tu. Uh, jangan buat general satu Malaysia. <laughs> so nanti 10,000 tu tak cukup untuk uh, satu Malaysia. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. terus fokus, fokus uh, area mana ke let's say kalau dia nak tengok let's say lah saya tak tahu mungkin dia nak tengok uh, literacy um, 5G literacy ke ataupun 5G punya uh, ataupun 6G ke sekarang ni punya uh, effect ke So terus bagi tahu efek tu dekat Sabah punya area. Ha. So dia terus tahulah uh, dia mungkin berminat work. All this why dia tak pernah buat Sabah punya area punya nak tengok macam mana uh, community in Sabah uh, apa ni accept di FMG punya uh, teknologi ke. So uh, mungkin the, uh, you get the higher chance lah rather than you bagi bagi uh, idea yang um, general. Macam tu. <coughs> Kurang macam tu lah. <laughs> yeah. Bagus. Uh, apa tu seranan tu? Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, macam mana yang lain? Is there any more question? Macam konsepsual tu memang wajib ada. ya eh? Memang wajib ada. Kita propose lah apa-apa uh, yang kalau tak ada kita propose our own conceptual theory. Eh? Oh wajib ya. Eh? Ah ya yeah. sebab dia nak tengok um, um, macam mana kita nak flowkan research itulah sebab basically kan kita buat macam survey study ni uh, they have to have some basis of uh, theory lah uh, tapi dia, dia tak perlu technical sangat yang macam kita buat FRGS tu dia lebih lenient sikit lah uh, macam tu <laughs> Ini ada question? So, yang, yang policy paper tu tak perlulah dia just report sajalah. Policy paper uh, maksud uh, doktor uh, as a as a kan, kan, dalam dia pun banyak policy-policy dia kan. So ada possibility tak yang kita punya report tu di upgrade sebagai policy lah. Uh, uh, yang report kita tadi tu. Ya. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, maksudnya dia mungkin tak semua tapi the information yang uh, kita bagi tu nanti dia akan update uh, dalam polisi. Uh, okay. Macam uh, uh, my okay. study tu uh, saya suggest terus polisi apa yang dia nak kena update. <laughs> Macam tu lah sebab uh, I kena study polisi, I kena study uh, some other countries punya polisi in terms of interoperability tu. So kita tengok from uh, previous uh, I mean other country tu apa yang Malaysia tak ada dan boleh buat dan kita terus suggest ah itu yang recommendation yang dia nak tu. Ha. So okay, okay. Ah, hmm. Tapi kalau boleh elakkan ambil yang general sangat tajuk macam yang yang ada eh uh, macam cakap non science tu boleh ambil juga macam orang law boleh orang uh, uh -huh. ha ya yeah, sebab dia akan jadi uh, competition memang dia akan jadi tinggi sikitlah. Uh. Hmm. Kalau macam 5G ke apa mungkin uh, orang susah sikit lah sebab 5G tu you need really uh, uh, people in the IT to look at macam myself uh, digital signature pun uh, susah orang nak uh, buat lah kan uh, sebab you need to yeah. have prior knowledge on the digital signature macam tu. Yeah. <coughs> uh, selamat pagi, selamat pagi Dr. Azni. Uh, selamat pagi. Uh, uh, saya Pais. Uh, saya ada stick question. So when we apply this grant, do uh -huh. we need to have a connection dengan industri punya orang dulu kah? Oh, Atau macam mana? Tak perlu, tak perlu. Contohnya, uh -huh. let's say saya nak, uh, I want to look into media literacy among Sabahan and uh -huh. to see the use of fact, fact checking lah. Sebab MCM saya fact checking. Uh -huh. Nak tengok. So ada juga saya connect dengan Wartawan buat di sini. Macam dia ada satu persatuan wartawan lah. So uh -huh. if let's say we connect with them, is it the possibility to get it higher <laughs> kah? Oh, ada kah? Oh, something like that. Yeah. Uh, you mean uh, um, to uh, wartawan tu untuk apa? Untuk you sebagai uh, uh, part of you punya respondent ke? Macam tu? Dia yeah. so because there are many macam fake news bah. Kita nak ajar kita punya generasi baru ni kan. Macam mana nak really look at into the sebab social media have so many news. Uh, so we need to uh, teach them to how to really see which one is fake and which one is uh, not fake and then oh ah uh, macam um, itulah. Okay. Uh, think, depends on the topic uh, this uh, published later on. If it's relevant to media social, maybe I think maybe ada, then you can um, you can uh, list dekat dalam tu apa yang you dah ada lah uh, connection you. Basically, dia tak macam research, uh, what I mean is that macam FRGS you kena ada surat kan, surat uh, collaboration daripada industri. You uh, Untuk MCMC you tak perlu ada surat but if you list out dalam proposal tu, uh, you ada connection dengan media ke apa ke semua and then you kena tulis straight away but dia, dia tak nak pembuktian lah maksudnya you don't need to provide a letter supporting letter ke apa tu tak tak perlu tapi oh. um, 
Yeah, okay. but it's good if you have already identified, like I said just now, who is your respondent or how you do mm. it to other, then uh, your you will get high chances. Yeah, maybe maybe they are part of the respondent lah to verify my model. Nah, nah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, boleh. You terus bagi tahu uh, which uh, media or wartawan uh, daripada mana ke Bonio, <coughs> Bonio Post eh. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Daily yeah? stress lah, daily stress. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, yeah. Uh, apa ni? Uh, you should put lah. Uh, I mean, uh, give give them that you ready. Dia nak tengok how ready you are. Uh, mm. Kalau you, mm. macam um, so equation pun tak ada lagi semua tu hmm. susah lah uh, for them nak accept uh, uh, because see. six months tu basically you dapat yeah, true 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 yeah kan you dapat tapi jadi kami sudah kami sudah buat SLR so okay sudah oh. ada conception model sudah ha okay lah dia kalau ada hmm. then uh, 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 minggu lah ya yeah? hmm. Cepat sikit lah kan? Hopefully can do yeah. <laughs> sebab kena reject bah one time tu oh ya ke? I see Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Welcome. Okay, I think we can open one more final question from our clip. Okay, ada sebarang soalan terakhir. Ada soalan, ada? <coughs> So, saya rasa tak ada. Okey, so, soalan saya tanya. Ni. Yang RM10,000 tu? Ay, siapa tu? Saya, saya Syariza. Okey. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ha, ha. Okey. Doktor, doktor ni. Uh, ya. Yeah. Ada maximum number of uh, group member ke untuk satu ha, grant? Ada. I think uh, lima. Lima orang. Termasuk PI lah. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, termasuk PI. Lima orang. <coughs> You can also um, ask for uh, industry uh, as a co-researcher. Yeah, tapi dia lima orang. And kalau you are, dah apply API, so uh, satu lagi grant tu you as a co lah. So dia boleh dua macam tu. Oh, boleh dua. So, maksudnya, lain lah, ya. ah, maksudnya ah. you PI, lepas tu satu, satu lagi kalau you as a co, tu boleh. Maksudnya nama you boleh ada dekat dua tempat. Ah, oh, maksimum hmm. macam tu lah. Ya. Ah, yeah. ah. Tapi uh, dia punya ni, dia akan bagi satu saja. <laughs> satu ini mesti satu. Ah. Oh, dia akan macam tu. Ya, ah, yeah. walaupun maksudnya kalau you dua-dua uh, you punya proposal tu macam uh, Uh, bagus kan tapi dia akan bagi satu saja. Uh. So uh, kita hantarlah banyak-banyak pun tak apa because at least you you, you have a chance lah, salah satu. satu. Uh. Mm. Kalau you hantar satu je uh, belum tentu kita tak tahulah kan yang yang, yeah. yang satu tu. <laughs> <laughs> Macam you seem yeah. sebelum ni hantar berapa tiga ke empat tapi kalau boleh uh, you gather yang nak hantar tu jangan choose the same topic. Maksudnya <coughs> kalau seorang dah buat topik satu yang lain tu buat topik lain. Tentu. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Betul, betul. Jangan you compete with each, with each other. <laughs> ya. Yeah. Uh. So, okay. So, saya rasa tiada sebarang soalan lagi. Uh, ini dulu. Kita ambil group photo dulu. Uh, Pendana boleh kita ambil group photo dulu, ya. Okay. Okay. Minta tu sebaik. Uh, kalau boleh, semua on camera. Tu group photo kita. Sebagai kenang-kenangan. Okay. Okay, kita tunggu yang lain dulu. Okay, 
Okey, ah pandana boleh lah saya ambil gambar. Okey. Ready 1 2 3 smile. Okey, Krista. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Ya. Uh, okay, thank so, you. Jadi kita jumpa di sesi lain lah. Okay, okay. masalah. Assalamualaikum. Selamat pagi. Okay.